All right, so today I'm gonna use the Windsor probe tool. Um, there's some uh, more modern versions that have like an electronic piece that you plug into the probes. Um, I'm using an old school one. Uh, but anyway, just to kind of show you where we're at, uh, right there on that X, they want that tested. Um, there's the tool, just a little slab. Um, they're starting with the CMU block. Sorry about the noise in the back. But uh, we're gonna test this area here. Uh, try my best to do this on my own. Sorry. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like here. Um, I'm gonna need this gun and this brush. And I'm gonna screw the, the tip onto the brush here. Screw that on. So I have, it's like a, it's like cleaning the barrel. Well, I guess we are cleaning the barrel of a gun. So I have the gun here. I'm gonna open it up. So uh, I have the gun. I'm gonna turn it sideways and open it up. I'm gonna get this brush I just put together. There's this little piece here that holds the bullet. We'll look at, we'll look at that more in a minute. And I'm gonna clean out this barrel. Uh, clean out the barrel after every three uses or after every three shots, which three shots actually equals one test. So after every location. So I'm done with that. I'm gonna set this down, leave that piece out. And as I take my box apart, here is the, the, the triangle plate with the holes in each tip that I'm gonna shoot into. So I'm gonna set that down right there above my location. bag here. Each bag comes with three probes and three bullets. Um, that's what the probe looks like. It's got thread on top and it's got that little rubber, that rubber piece along the shaft. That's three of those. And then inside this bag is another bag that's got the three bullets or three charges or however you want to refer to them. Just a little bullet and set those down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot one into each corner here. All right. I'm gonna grab this little piece out of the box and I'm gonna screw this onto the tip of the onto the tip of the probe as far as it goes. Obviously, it won't fit in that way. Well, I guess it will. But it doesn't go in that way so the, the tip of the probe that goes into the concrete is going to go into the barrel first shove that in there this metal piece that stays in there that came with it put it back in push it in as far as it goes and then slide the bullet into that piece turn it sideways clock it it's ready to go so then what i'm actually going to do is find one of these corners put the gun all the way down Right here in the center, I know you can't see it, but there's a little yellow, uh, there's a little yellow piece that comes out of, uh, there's three holes there, comes out of the center hole. I'm gonna push it all the way down, keep it nice and straight, two hands, and pull the trigger. Take this off, it smells like a firework. Open it up. Take this piece out. Take the empty bullet casing out. Get rid of that. And unscrew the, uh, the metal piece here. Now, now that I have one, if I need to, I can still move it around. Um, but I don't need to, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna load up my second one. Screw this on here. that on the probe. Slide the probe into the barrel. Put that piece on. Get my second bullet. Put it in there. Close it. Ready to go. Nice perpendicular shot.
little bit of concrete splattered. All you need is your safety glasses. Take it apart. Piece out. Use an Allen wrench here to knock that casing out. Sometimes it gets a little stuck. Unscrew this piece. Screw it on the next one. And load it up for the third time. Slide the piece in there. That's my empty one. Put my last one in there. Got it loaded, ready to go. And we are done shooting our three shots. Take this out, remove the casing. Since I'm done, I'm gonna put this back in. Put the gun back together, set it off to the side. Now I'm gonna remove this template. Oh, gotta remove that piece first. That was screwed onto the top of the probe. Put it back in the box. I'm gonna remove the template. And then I'm gonna remove the plastic pieces that uh, that were around the shaft. So all I have left is, uh, is a shaft that uh, is, is three pieces, is, is a three uh, probe sticking out. Okay, so now here's a little video of the three probes. One, two, three. Um, before I put the place on, I wanna get all that concrete out of there. Make it nice and clean because these plates need to sit flush on the ground. See, I like that little plastic thing on this one to show uh, to show an up close. Pull that thing off the thread. Take this, throw it away. Now that my floor is clean, I have these two uh, these two plates. The one with the hole goes on top. So this is gonna fit over the probes just like that one probe in each corner then I have this one with the hole this one goes on top these three holes here they're gonna rest on the probe this plate so now I have this uh, this gap here and basically what I'm doing is I'm measuring that all right so I had to put the camera down because I need two hands for this next step but I got this tool and basically what it is is it has a spring it goes in and out and right there it has the uh the different the, the depth that it measures and i'll show you a better angle of this in a minute but basically what you're going to do is there's a hole right here in the center of this plate and you're going to push it down to line up with the with the uh marking underneath push it down all the way and then when there's a set screw on the back that you're going to tighten and that is your, uh, then you take your measurement reading. So this is what this looks like. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but down in there, in that hole, there's a little dent in there. So what you're doing is you get your tool. I have a set screw set, so it's not gonna, but you set it through the top hole and you put the tip in the bottom dent. Um, if you notice, the shaft of this is all the way on the top plate and uh, this goes up and down but what I did is you push it all the way down and then you set your set screw now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my take this out and read it and I'm reading a 1.7 uh, just short of 1.7 but it's closest to 1.7 so I'm gonna go with that and then uh, depending on what charges you use depending on what uh, uh, standard tables you use, all this kind of things. You look at your chart. Come on, there we go. Uh, 1.7, that's right there in the center. And that's gonna tell me that my uh, PSI is 37.75 on this slab. And that is pretty much how you use the Windsor Pro. Once you're done, take everything apart. Before you go to the next uh, location, 
you uh, um, uh, clean out your gun barrel or clean it before the next time you use it and there's also tools in here and things to use if you're gonna do a single shot like on a column or something where that triangle plate doesn't quite fit but anyway that's how you use the Windsor tool the so one thing I did Right here where I ran the, ran the Windsor Pro. The reason the floor is all dirty, I went ahead and cored it. I GPR'd it. I don't know, it's hard to see the lines, but I drew out the rebar. And then I cored it so that I can correlate the results from that test to these tests. Uh, I'll take the cores in and I'll wait for the lab to get back with me with the results. And we'll see how close the, the numbers come out.